Okay, let's hope these next few cups are a little bit better than the last one, shall we? Who do we play as today? Um, hmm. Let's be my man Toad. I do love me some Toad. Alright, um, hmm. Blue Falcon is pretty fast. It doesn't have the best handling, though. Ah, uh, Tiny Titan. I do like the Tiny Titan. It's a fun one to be in. Keeping up the cart standard. All right. So we cleared the Fireball and the Red Shell Cups. Oh, boy. Blue Shell Cup. Great. New Moon Manor, Nightlife Party, Banshee Boardwalk, and Fishdom Island. Okay. Well, at the very least, I know Banshee Boardwalk is going to be good. That's a fun course. And we got free originals. Could go either way. Could be really good. Could be really bad. Or maybe they'll just be okay. I could go for some just okay courses. Wow. Oh, this course looks beautiful. Oh, man. This looks like a lot of detail. Wow, yeah, a lot of detail was put into this course. This looks amazing. But does it play well? Because last time we had a bunch of courses that looked really good. But weren't that fun to play. Well, we'll have to see. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice power-up of the purple. Oh my gosh! Goomba's appearing out of nowhere. Wonk! Ah! <laughs> Going down a vortex. What the? Okay, I don't like that. I mean, the idea of falling in the vortex is cool, but then you have to fall in a specific part and you don't know which part that is. And it, nope, don't like that. Oh, hey! It's like Twisted Manor! Okay. I like Twisted Mansion. Oh man, gosh, yeah. a lot of tight turning. Bowser, you really don't want to get in front of me. Oh my gosh, the draw distance on this course is not very good. Ouch. Uh oh, gave me, baby, baby. All right! Wow, this course is crazy. I do, I do kind of like this course. Maybe I should. Should I just go back to only being an inside drift bikes? I feel like I should. Get past the Goombas before I go here. Right, we're falling in the center. There we go. Uh oh. Give a wide berth for that. Thanks for that. I'm in first now, boys. Yeehaw! Once we get to this part, there's a lot of tight turning. But if you, I guess if you know it's in advance, we can make it. Ooh, nice. The red shell did nothing. Okay, this course is pretty fun. Visually, it's really good. I don't like... I know, I think it's part of the atmosphere where it's like, oh, oh there's stuff that appears. It, it's probably because of bad draw distance, but they're probably trying to be, oh, no, it's part of the atmosphere. Like, it's a haunted mansion and stuff appears and disappears. I wish the draw distance was better, though. At least for that turn back there where it's just like, oh, psych, now you gotta do a 90 degree turn. Still though, this is a really well, this is a really fun course. Really, really cool visual design. A lot of time was put into making this look good. I, I can say I'm a fan, uh oh. I'm, I don't like this part though. I do not like the, the purple vortex that you fall in. It's like, well, you weren't in the center? Well, too bad. Maybe make it a little more generous as to uh, what constitutes if you make it through the vortex or not, and, or else getting hit by the wall. No, oh, my boop! Oh, my bloop. Nice pumpkin patch. So if you have a mushroom, you can boost across the other side there. That's cool. There does seem to be a couple of shortcuts on this course that require mushrooms. I love shortcuts. Ow. I don't know what happened there. Oh, 
See, that turn gets me every time. Come on, really? Again? I literally just had one of them. Are, are you are you serious? That was two blue shells in the span of about five seconds. Boo! That was so dumb. I should have won first. Good course, though. A couple of hiccups that need to be fixed. Give better draw distance on the sharp right turn and make the vortex a little more generous and you have an, a magnificent course. And that's a pretty good... Okay. Course-wise, good start. I like that. Is this going to be like the Haunted Cup, I wonder? Nightlife Party. Okay, this definitely looks like a custom course, but I, I like the party theme. All right, all right. That's like an adult version of Ribbon Road from the looks of it. Okay. I see some very tight turn, a lot of 90 degree turns. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that translates. Sky seems to just be like a black void. Oh wow, really? Oh, so soon too. There you go, Waluigi. This is so weird. The piles of confetti instead of the leaf piles from Maple Tree Way. Okay, that's a good that's a good reskin. I like that. Why do I feel like this? Oh man! Why do I feel like the Tiny Titan has better turning than the Sneakster did? Okay, all right. I think the visuals maybe need a slight touch-up, but other than that, this is a fun course. It's nice and simple. Nice and simple. I mean, it's it's got just enough in it to make it interesting. Like, you got the confetti piles that can have mushrooms. I like that. What hit me? You got a couple of neat shortcuts. You got, like, the homages to both Ribbon Road and, like, SNES Rainbow Road. Okay, I can get behind that. Why is that sending me flying so far to the left there, though? I don't get it. What the heck? These CPUs are ruthless. I'm gonna need a bit more than a bob -omb, I think. Yeah, take that, Dry Bowser. Okay, we're not going over the ramp this time, because apparently that's slowing me down. I don't want to risk taking that ramp. We'll try to go up here, though. Oh my gosh! How did that red shell hit me if I had a green shell behind me? I would like to know that. All right, well, that'll help take me up in the lead. Okay, that was actually a fun course. Visuals were a little rough around the edges, but the actual course itself was fun. So I'll give that a thumbs up. Good job. All right, here we go. N64 Banshee Boardwalk. This is a fun one. Let's see how they adapted it. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty much the same. Just they updated the visuals a bit. Cool. Well, I like Banshee Boardwalk. It's not one of my favorite courses from the N64 one, but it's not one of my least favorites, so... Plus, with the modern-day turning, it'll probably be a little... Alright, Dry Bowser, you're going down. Move it, that's Bowser Jr. I'm gonna kill your dead father. I realize that sentence doesn't make sense. There's Blooper. Blooping things up again. Good adaption of it. I like it. 
Yeah, this is a fun course. I mean, we knew Banshee Boardwalk was fun, but they did a great job of updating the visuals while keeping the course consistent with what it was in the N64. So yeah, two thumbs up here. Really good job adapting this. I like how they even put in the cheap, cheap jumping over the bridge. Come off it. Oh good, Dry Bowser got hit by my green shell. You deserve it. The only reason I lost was because of double blue shell. Bowser, get back. He's gaining. Which makes sense, because he's a heavy guy. Okay, you got the draft boost off of nothing. Yeah, that's what you get. Koopa, back off. Darn it! This fiend has weird aerial movement. Like, Tiny Titan actually turns really well on the ground for a cart. But in the air, man, like, it, it, it gets weird. Man, I missed you, Tiny Titan. This is always one of my favorite vehicles in Mario Kart Wii. Yoink! Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, wait, no. Koopa... Uh, if I hit Koopa, then that's... No, Koopa won second for some reason, even though Dry Bowser was definitely ahead of him at the end. But that's cool. By letting Koopa beat Dry Bowser, I now have taken the lead overall in the circuit. Very nice. All right, last course in the Blue Shell Cup. There have been a lot of Blue Shells in the Blue Shell Cup. I guess that's fitting. Fishdom Island. Wait, is this... Is this Emerald Coast from Sonic Adventure? Okay, no, it, no, it's not. It looked, a lot of that looked like Emerald Coast from Sonic Adventure. Which I'd be down for that. that that's a great Sonic level. This is interesting. Okay, okay, I can get down with this. Just looking at the minimap. You got the Koopa Cape music. You got the fish power-ups. Oh, it's so nice to be on a beach course where the sand doesn't have ice physics for no reason. Move it, Koopa. What the heck? How is there somebody invincible already? I'm going down. I jumped over the power-up. Great design. Man, this fiend's turning. Like, it keeps drifting in the direction even after you stop drifting in that direction. It's so weird. Come on! Also, it's the tiny titan. It is a titan. I should be pushing around other little guys. And potentially... What?! Oh, that's a big two thumbs down there. How the heck are you supposed to plan for that? There was not even a single sign telling you to prepare for that until it was way too late. Yeah, eat it, Drive Bowser. That baby daisy, take that. Oh, wow, Koopa. All right. Okay, if you do a trick there, do you just move it? Fall off, Koopa. Wow, Koopa didn't fall off. I mean, it's a lovely little seashore course, so I do like that. Okay. Up here. We prep for the turn in advance. And that's at the very end, too, man. Oh! Expertly leave between the power-ups, like always. Try 
Hi, Bowser. How are you in second again? Okay, if I don't trick here. Okay, if you don't trick, you don't get the power-up. And if you trick, you don't get the power-up. So there's power-ups literally just there to taunt you. Sure what it seems like. The power-ups on this course are so difficult to grab. It feels like half of them you can't even grab through conventional means. All right. Apart from the crazy turn at the very end, like if you have if you have to put that turn in at the very end, at least give us some advance warning. But other than that, that was a pretty fun course. Maybe fix some of the power up positionings to make it like, you know, possible to grab them, and you got yourself a great course. All in all, way better than the Red Shell Cup. But that's also a very 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 low bar. Rank A. Yeah. Feels dumb because I got rank A because of pure luck in the first race, but whatever. We're not here to get triple stars on every cup. All right, at this point, it's time for Wario on his bike. I'm gonna win, Wario bike. Wario bike definitely doesn't have inside drift, but it's still a fine vehicle. All right, now we got the Bulletville Cup. We got Toad Raceway, Spike Desert, Delfino Island, and Six Keen Labyrinth. Okay. I think Toad Raceway is just Toad Circuit, so this should be at least a very basic course. Yeah. So, for some reason, any like, they've brought courses in from future Mario Karts into this, but for some reason when they do that, they don't actually call the courses what they're actually called. They change the name. I don't know why. So, instead of 3DS Toad Circuit, they're like, Toad Raceway. I don't know why. It's just a thing that they do. It's very weird. But regardless, this should be a nice warm-up course to get me re reacquainted with the Wario bike. Okay, hey on. This also seems to have better turning than this. Does the Sneakster just have terrible turning and I just forgot? I don't remember the Sneakster having terrible turning. Alright. Oop. Boshi, get out of here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Very simple course. You know, I criticize this for being too simple for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but here I appreciate the simplicity of it. And I love the cardboard cutouts of all of the uh, guys in the audience watching us. Such a good touch. Really makes the course feel alive, you know? Oh yeah, look at that lead. Wario is coming to win. Wah ha! <laughs> Wario Bike gets a bad rap. It's a, it's a good vehicle. Maybe the best non-inside drift uh, bike in the game? Certainly up there. I love it. Bully Maguire! <laughs> you know, that's actually fitting for Wario. He does like to bully people. Okay, so we had the Toad Circuit, so what do we got next? Spike Desert. You know, it's another desert course that's got water on it. It's a little weird. Oh, but we got, okay, we got some, like, desert walls. So this this kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, maybe Canyon Crusade from Pac-Man World Rally? Okay, I like the high walls here. That's actually really cool. You don't see a desert horse that does this a lot. Oh, I was hoping for the desert hills music. Still, Dry Dry Ruins, it has a good song too. So, oh, you got the little, like, not Gordo in it. I don't remember what those enemies are called. The guys that puke up spike balls and then throw them at people. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm actually really digging this. Okay, I see you up there on the mini-map. This sharp 90-degree turn. All 
All right, all right. No, thus far, this is actually a really cool desert course. Whoops, did not mean to drop that right away. Oh, dude, no, this is a boss desert course. Like, this is better than most official Mario Kart desert courses. I mean, it's no Desert Adventure Dragway, but it's definitely a really good desert course. I'll even excuse water being here. I, I still think it's very dumb when desert courses have water and it's not like an oasis. Mainly dry, dry desert. It's like, it's in the name, bro. Dry, dry desert. Nah, let's add an oasis. It's like, But this is fine. There are, there are weird... There are power-ups up the wall. That's interesting. Okay, avoid the fake power-up that I dropped last lap, because of course nobody's hit it yet. Alright, yeah, this is a great course. Okay, the fact that Baby Peach is, like, keeping pace with me when I am in a, in a heavy guy, in a heavy vehicle, and doing wheelies is not okay. Okay, enough with the fake power-ups already. There we go. Kind of weird how there's, like, water just popping up through the gates. I wonder if that would actually have a negative effect on the vehicle that we were driving. Alright, but then, no. Okay, Spike Desert? That's a great course. I really like that one. I will definitely be, uh, picking that in the future. Oh, that, that's a fantastic course. I'm, I'm always on the lookout for good desert racing courses. Because they can, they are possible. Okay, Delfino Island, this definitely looks very homemade. Monochromatic, a lot of singular colors, pretty flat. A lot of very sharp turns, or a lot of like, it's very polygonal. Let's see how it plays though. Alright, we got the leaf piles for Maple Treeway. original song too. I was expecting it, oh my gosh, I was expecting it to play the Delfino Pier music. Or maybe the Maple Treeway music. This is literally just a, a new song. Okay. Oh my gosh, what? How do you even? Okay, I don't, I don't like that. I don't trust that ramp. I do not trust that ramp. I am quite certain if I had gone over it, it would have been like, Oh, silly you, you need a mushroom to go over this. But we don't, like, indicate that in any way, shape, or form. I'm getting the, I'm getting the hang of the custom, what the custom tracks are doing. I'm not a huge fan of this music. Maybe it's because I can barely hear it over before you're just laughing uproariously. Not gone. Why couldn't that the mushroom have spawned a little closer to me? Oh no, wait, no. Oh, you did. It's a big mistake. Yeah, I could have used my mushroom there, but I decide I want to save it. I want to save it for that ramp. Oh, okay. So this part is rough. I was literally holding brakes the entire time, and I still went flying off. Boo! That's so bad! You liter That's literally putting an unavoidable boost panel right in front of the lake, and you you have to go over it and fall off. Unless you're the computer player who has better turning than human players can possibly have.
Yeah, take that, baby Mario, you little cheater. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, not a fan of this course. Graphics aren't anything special, and the, the boost panel in front of the lake there kind of ruins it. Also, some of these... They're just... They literally just put boost panels in front of, like, sharp turns you have to make. If you're not in the perfect vehicle, if you're not making the turn. Yosh. All right, here we go. Oh, you actually don't need a mushroom to get over there. Potentially. Wow, rude. So rude. They literally put that there just to catch me. for almost giving me a mushroom. I'm still docking points from that boost in front of the gap. Unless you know exactly the right direction to move in in advance, you're not going to be able to get through that without falling. Okay, so not a big fan of that course. It's not as bad as I originally thought, but I still would not pick that again. There was an attempt, but... Needs some rework. And last, well, not least, we got Six Keen Labyrinth. And I don't like the sound of this already. I'm guessing it's going to be a large maze-like course with a lot of impossible turns if you don't know what where they are in advance. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the start looks pretty cool, where we go out of a launch star to a fortress. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that maze. So this is going to be a very gimmicky course. Which, as long as the gimmick is done properly, I don't actually have a problem with that. How did they catch me? I literally got the best starting boost, and I'm a heavy guy, and was doing a wheelie. How? This is like Yoshi Valley on steroids. Looks a bit... All the CPUs that will seem to know exactly which way to go. What do you mean I'm going? How? Well, there was absolutely no indication that this was the wrong way. There were no signs, and it was literally just going straight. And I should not have fallen off there. All right. Why are there piles of leaves in a fortress where there are no trees around? Why? Oof, that's bad luck, King Boo. Um, what? Okay, this seems exceptionally poorly designed. It's not even a case of, like, there are multiple ways to go. One of them is the fastest. No, it's a literary case of like, there are multiple ways to go. Actually, no, there's not. You have to go this way, otherwise you're going backwards. But there's literally no visual indication of which one that is. I can't tell if Drybones and Peach are, like, really far ahead or really far behind. But judging on how I'm in ninth place and there aren't that many other people behind me, I'm guessing they're just really far behind. Gosh, you have to just know that that's... Well, I also was using a gold mushroom. Look, look at that. 
You lit I literally had to break with all my might just to make that turn. Wow, he... They literally both waited for me to pass them before activating their power. What the heck, Koopa? How is Koopa that far in first? Or how is he that far behind? I don't know. Also, everyone's just moving at a way faster speed than I am, even though I'm a heavy guy. What? I did not fall off. That is such BS. I appreciate what you're trying to do here. You're trying to make like a fortress, which is a bunch of different ways you can go. You're making like a fortress version of Yoshi Valley, pretty much. I, I get it. It's a cool idea. It doesn't work well. Okay, so this section is literally just designed to have a bunch of stuff so that it's impossible. Okay, I, I get, I, again, I get what you're trying to do there, but the leaf pile definitely doesn't fit. Also, on this course, it feels like all of the CPUs are moving at twice the speed that you are. Look at that. Donkey Kong in the Piranha Prowler is moving faster than I am when I am literally using mushrooms. Also, did, like, three CPUs just warp in front of me at the end? Oh, well. Still win first overall. Uh, that was not a good course. At all. That was not fun to race in. At all. <laughs> I'm not even sure if, like, you can salvage that either. I think you might just have to scrap it and try the same gimmick, but in a different way that it's actually like you know possible to race in this has been Artie's feedback for the blue shell and bullet bill cups in mario kart we see tgp thank you for watching everybody well we'll be continuing these cups i think in the coming week as well i don't know how long i'll be keeping this up because there's still a huge amount of cups left to explore but i'm still having fun with these even though we do get some stinker courses from time to time so Look forward to seeing you next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.